now inside, got to some park where the Halloween tour is going on just behind us. I've got Snods and Diamonds here with me as well. Tell us what you're doing here, guys. Yeah, it's fantastic. Here with John Stones now to give him some presents. John, what have you heard about Connor? Um, as you just said, I think he's, he's a massive inspiration to us So all. that's it, the tour of Goodison Park, the spooky tour of Goodison Park is now finished. Hello and welcome to The Beautiful Game, a show all about ladies football. It's nice that each one's totally different as well. It just shows kind of the range of the good people that are around and it's so nice that the club rewards them in that way. I'm here at the Select Security Stadium in Widnes for the WSL2 game between Everton Ladies and Doncaster Rovers Bells. Quite a few scares, quite a few jumps. Everyone's got their sweets now and they've all gone home happy with memories of Everton Football Club. If they do win that game, a final at Wembley is the prize. Motivation enough? I think so. I spoke to Captain Michelle Hinnigan on how she and the ladies are feeling leading up to this important game. Cannot wait. I can't wait for the derby on Saturday too. Hopefully a win for us Blues. Michelle Hinnigan unfortunately missed a penalty early on, but Kelly Jones scored the equaliser. So let's hear what the goal scorer and manager Andy Spence think about today's game. Connor's class now and surprise him so I can't wait to see his reaction John's waiting just behind us he's going to follow us in so hopefully Connor's going to get a great surprise such Hello. a shame we couldn't get the win and have a final but just quickly we're about to get the team news in just a couple of minutes maybe a couple of changes today who would you like to see get a star for the last game or two uh, obviously Tim Howard in goal needs to come a bit closer I said this before you're all standing so far back today don't be afraid just come closer Thank you very much. Okay, Anthony, we're celebrating the work that Everton and the community does today. I know we've got loads of volunteers around collecting money, but first of all, tell us about the fantastic work that Everton in the community does. Quite a couple of changes people are wanting to see today. We've got someone with Nias, wanting yeah. to see Nias get a start. We've got De La Feu hoping to start. Of course, I think I heard rightly that Tim Howard is going to start, isn't he? Yeah. The last two games are good at some park, so that one won't be a surprise. But about, about two minutes till we get the team news, Gav, who would you like to see start for Everton? Hello and welcome to Football Friday here on Bay TV. Do you think Rodgers will be feeling the pressure of needing to win something, Graeme? I think all managers do, yeah. I mean, especially when you're at big clubs like Liverpool. It was an ideal opportunity, so it worked out yeah, well. Yeah, it did. I mean, does, is that something Jordan Henson needs to learn? Maybe the little situations on the pitch that he needs to just read a little bit more maturely, which I thought he dealt with it pretty well, but maybe he should have, as you said, just gone, OK, yeah, you take it, rather than had the little bit of the discussion. I, I thought about that over the last sort of 12 hours or so. Welcome back to the final part of today's Football Friday. Now, don't forget, if you've got any questions for the legends or anything else you want to ask us or tell us, please email us at footballfriday at baytvliverpool.com. Before we ask you your questions that we've had in this week, there were a lot of talk from people giving their opinions on where they think the money should go. I know um, Jamie Carragher said he wants to see 20 away games for £20 each, whereas Gary Neville said he wants to see more of the money going down to grassroots football. Will we see any of these things happen, do you think? I think the clubs have got a responsibility. State, but hopefully, fingers crossed. Let's see. OK, join us after the break, because there's no Premier League game, so we'll be discussing the England v Lithuania game happening tonight. Yeah, and just one point above the relegation zone now, but as you did say, very, very tight table down the bottom there. So when do they start to become really worried that it is a possibility they could drop down? I think they're worried now. I think they're worried now. Hey, thanks for joining us tonight on Football Friday. We'll be back next week with Graham and David and myself. See you next week.